glitter for your body and I'm going to a Coldplay concert later this year and I just need to feel like an alien while I'm there. Hey, it's Karen, Max's mom. Today is the day I've been waiting for for a full month now. Um, we've been in this house, in the new house, for four weeks, one day, and finally finished painting the living room. So now, today's step is to move all the furniture that we've had in this room into the room it belongs in, and then we can continue painting. So the house is one big circle. Um, we started with the bedroom and my office because those are just mandatory. Could not function without my bedroom or my office looking good. And now I finished my second office, which is the living room. And we're gonna work our way through the, this is supposed to be the dining room, but it's gonna be a, a music room, a study, um, sitting room, if you will. And then the kitchen is on through there, the hallway. So many projects to come, but for today, it's ripping up this paper from painting and doing a deep clean on this floor in here. Where's Max? I hear him. That's his bed. Like he's just been sitting there on top of a rolled up rug. Um, but this room has not been cleaned out and it grosses me out a bit that I moved into a place where there was a room that hadn't been cleaned yet. Um, but you know, this was kind of the catch all area and I finally gotten it cleared out. And now it's just ripping up this paper and I don't know if I even need to clear out the room anymore. It's just really mopping and then just moving this furniture in and rearranging this randomness as it, you know, as appropriate. Um, I think I've done my job as far as clearing out the space because it was just packed. Just like, this was just like extra boxes in here for no reason. Things that just hadn't been put away yet and I cleared all that out. So yeah, um, I can't find my tripod camera attachment. So I'm gonna sit the camera where I can. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to finally get things in order and know where all of my belongings are because I don't. Max is trying to get into his room. That's my office. I love that my office is connected to the living room. Um, but yeah, he can't get in there because he got into some poison or an ant venom. Like there's an ant issue. That's a whole nother conversation. But he, he's trying his best to sway me to open that door and I just will not let him. He keeps going back and forth. But um, I'm so excited. It's starting to feel like home here because it did not. It was a rough beginning. Like I've cried so many nights and so many days I've woken up first thing. And I'm like, oh, I wish I was in my apartment. But I'm starting to not feel that way. I'm so excited. And I'm just excited for this whole journey and to like document it. So let me get started before I continue just talking about how excited I am. By the way, do you like my necklace? So I picked these up at Target. They're just, you know, the sing this is one single necklace. But I bought two M's for Max's mom. And I was like, that would be the cutest thing to get customized. Get a customized Max's mom necklace. I just think that would be so adorable. I was going to, I almost got a K for Karen. But I was like, no, Max's mom. And I'm just obsessed with this. I love it so much.
Y'all like the sunlight? Oh, you needed to have the extra fluffy space, huh? Yeah. All right, so the room is not done, of course, not with decor, but we are actually living in here and I am very pleased. And Max smells something on the rug. Max, what is that? All right, can you see me? You can't really see me. Whoa. I am taking a work break because my Ulta box just came in the mail and you, the camera's sitting on it so you can't see the box. So I'm gonna empty the box, then sit the camera back up there. I can't find any of my tripods. That's weird, right? I put all my tripods in a box. I did not close that box up, but we put the box in the car, brought it over here, and I just can't, and there's all of my tripods, except like two are missing. And then to those two, the attachment for my camera is missing. And my office is a mess, right? It's not a total mess, it's just really unorganized. Um, and I really want to find it. So, <sighs> until then, we're using boxes. Let's see what I got. Let's see what I got. Okay, I'm not going to even look at what I got. I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to just pull it out of the box. Put it on the floor. Put it out. Try not to look. I like to surprise myself, so... This bra keeps folding over. It's been looking good all day and now I'm on camera and it's acting weird. So Max is, I made some turkey for them last night and he's just going back and forth sniffing because I just gave him a bit more and Cece is right there. Um, okay. So I did a Sephora haul, not haul. I went shopping at Sephora and I recorded it. I don't know if I recorded it well. I don't know if the lighting looked good. So I might not include it, but I got a few items, including there's a new lipstick color from Rare Beauty and it's like this pinkish, I'm not a big fan of it, but I like it at the same time. Um, and a bunch of different like perfume samples and I got something else. I don't know. I really need to rearrange my makeup and get some cute makeup storage pouches so that I can rotate through it and everything. Anyway. The highlight of that haul was the Fenty, I don't know what you call it, but it's pretty much just glitter for your body. And I'm going to a Coldplay concert later this year, and I just need to feel like an alien while I'm there. So I purchased that, but let me see what, what came in the, I haven't looked, I just threw it all on the floor. Um, I do know that I ordered some, let me see. Yeah, I ordered some um, foundation replacement. I, I've been using the L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Foundation for years now. And they've changed, if this is what I think, if it's what I've been using, they changed the bottle. So I had a hard time locating this. So this was trending on TikTok for, I don't know why. I think it was like, hey, the best foundations. And it was in the old tube, but I saw trending. And that kind of upset me, slick upset me because I was like, now my foundation is going to be out of stock. And I'm telling you, I went to every single, I went to three, three or four stores that day. Could not find this foundation, like not in this tube or the old bottle. And I liked the old bottle because it felt very like, it was like an apothecary tube. Like I felt like a witch putting on my makeup, but now it's in this basic and it was also a glass bottle. And now this is, this feels glass, but the top is plastic. And this part was not on there before, so I'm not sure why they changed. The top was metal. It was like a metal plastic before. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I don't like this. I don't feel special picking this one up. But because it was out of stock everywhere, I bought two of them. And now I'm using the True Match Valuable. And I think I like that one better. So there you go. But this one matches my skin. I'm in W7. I like to mix it with um, the C6. 
there's a W7. I like to mix it with C6 sometimes, but um, since it's been winter, the W7 by itself is fine. About July, August, I need C6 um, to mix in with that for it to look good. But yeah, so I got that and then I got, oh, uh, there's a Fenty Beauty in my type. It's a Pout Sickle Hydrating Lip Stain. See, I went to the store the other day and I was looking for, there's an Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Stain I saw somebody use and I went to get that. I didn't even know I'd ordered a lip stain, but because I couldn't find that one, I went, I was at Ulta. I went to Target for something else. And while I was there, I looked for a lip stain and I found that e.l.f. is making lip stains again. e.l.f. used to make, like my favorite lip stain was e.l.f. back in the day. I'm talking like 10, 15 years ago. And however old e.l.f. is. I know I was in college using it. And it just disappeared. And now that lip stains are back, it's back. But it's in a smaller tube. So I purchased that. And it doesn't last. It stains. As in you can't wipe it away for a while, but it disappears. Like if you eat something, it's not going to be there anymore. So I'm wondering if this one will actually stain. I was looking for, because I'm trying to go to a lot of concerts this year. And I really hate that I go into a concert looking good. And then I leave looking like all my makeup's on my shirt. Oh, I don't really like this color. It's like a pink. Hmm. I do like that though, how it stained in there, like on the inner lip, but I guess that's because that's where I applied it, so, but yeah, we'll see how this one works. What I've been wanting is some aesthetic combs and brushes because I, the oven is on. I have a casserole I need to put in the oven. Hold on one second. Okay, so I have these, um, I like the combs I use, but I've been using, like whenever I order a new wig. They throw in the rat tail comb, or they used to. I don't think they do that anymore. But, um, so I have a lot of rat tail combs that are branded for these wig companies. Um, and so they just stay in my wig drawer. But I kind of wanted to have my combs and brushes more accessible. And I just picked out the best, um, detangling brush. Um, but it's this bright blue color that I just... I don't know color overwhelms me I'm a very anxious person um and having too many colors makes me feel overstimulated so I try to keep things very basic when I can like neutral tones and everything and anyway brushes usually don't come in that I don't know why but brushes are just bright and just happy and just a lot of hair tools are and I just hate that I'm seeing a turn I'm seeing a lot more white and wood which I appreciate um Max is so interested in what I'm saying but anyway um these the hair edit I found these so I bought uh this is like a detangling brush I got the detangling comb and I got a rat tooth comb but they don't call it a rat tooth comb they're calling it uh section and style versatile styling styling tail comb this is a rat tail comb what are these companies doing we're renaming a lot of things and i don't know why like the siren eye which is just a smoky cat eye um, anyway i got these three because i have a small vanity in my um bedroom which I'm thinking about moving like I kind of I don't know it feels like it's taking up too much space in the bedroom I kind of would like to move my vanity into because I was planning on having my vanity and there's a middle room behind me which we're making like our studio like our music room or something it's like going to be like a, a sitting room and I kind of want to make that my vanity area along with everything else that goes in there so we'll see but for now the vanity is in the bedroom and so I just got some white stuff because it's not even white because I don't like white can you see that it's like a cream and um yeah I don't brush my hair I brush my wigs though and you know I'm excited about that 
my hair all I use is my fingers occasionally a detangling comb in the shower but like this is my main tool for my hair for parting and everything and I'm just so excited to have that um so it turns out I did not get a lot the other things are I got I got I restocked on my Olaplex some people think Olaplex is overrated listen it takes me a whole year to get through the small sizes of Olaplex um so i'm gonna keep using it like i use it whenever i feel like you're getting too much boob action i don't know what's going on i use it whenever i take my braids down um whenever i need just to pick me up with my hair like if it feels like i've been manipulating my hair too much especially during the holidays around my birthday the summer months when i have braids in anytime i've been doing too much with my hair i use some olaplex and or if my hair is starting to feel too frizzy and it works I don't think it's overpriced um, and there are there are alternatives if you feel like it's overpriced I don't know if they work as well because I haven't used them because if it's not broken why fix it you know is that the saying if it ain't if it ain't broken don't fix I don't know anyway this is my favorite one, the the number zero. And then I always get the number three and the number six. They had a number three sample. If you spend $60, you got this sample. If you spent 90, you got the serum sample, the number nine. But in my Sephora order, I purchased the number nine. Is that one new? Because I've never seen it before. I purchased that one and I also, my order qualified for a bunch of freebies. So I got a sample number nine. Uh, and I thought that's cool, especially for braids for my roots um, I'm not worried about my roots being frizzy now because I was kind of hoping to get to the frizzy point in my braids um because I just like how that looks especially in the spring so anyway and I got this pearl oh I got pearl hair bobby pins I'm not sure why I bought these but I just love how they look I think I had the concert in mind a lot with what I purchased because I'm just so excited. I've been wanting to go to a Coldplay concert my entire life. Um, so yeah, these are way bigger than I thought they were going to be. I thought these were going to be tiny accents, but they are not. They are huge. I thought they were going to all be this size and smaller, but this is huge. Where am I putting that? But, um, you know, I love wearing pearl. Pearl is like, I've been a pearl girl since before it was a thing. Just kidding. Pearl girls were a thing before my time. But I love pearls. I've had pearls in my ears since I was 10 years old. They just, I like how pearl looks on brown skin. Pearl compliments everybody. But I just love how pearls look on my skin tone. Um, I'll pick a pearl over a diamond any day. But um, yeah, so that's that. I don't know if I'm having a birthday party. I turned 30 this year. I kind of want to have a birthday party, but I also am not a very social person. So it kind of makes me feel like, do I just want to take, so this was the plan. I was planning to do Coldplay in London for my birthday this summer, but then they announced US dates. So that's what I'm doing instead to save some money. Plus all the good seats were taken for their Europe dates. Um, so I don't know. Part of me wants to have a birthday party so that I can get gifts but part of me is like part of me is like don't spend your birthday with people you want to spend it with um and and i kind of just want to have a quiet dinner maybe instead of a party and invite see the thing is it's really hard because i work my office is in new york and i've made so many friends and they're not here and part of me is like why don't you take why don't you do two parties right hear me out do a dinner party here with your friends who are here and then like go up to new york meet up with some friends from work i don't know anyway I've, i'm thinking about birthday looks a lot lately and 
there's a pin pinterest predicts has has me wanting to get married this year just because of all the trends on there and i'm just like oh i'm picturing the best wedding ever i don't know i just have a lot of things and pearls are a big part of those things in my mind so anyway um got some bobby pins they didn't have extra long bobby pins i love extra long bobby pins like this long they're my favorite especially when i wear space buns um and then because i am planning a lot of concerts this year i hate stupid freebies like this that are like labeled like branded but there's a l'oreal um fanny pack that was just like a, hey you qualify oh because i bought two foundations um and i was gonna say do not include this gift but then i was like well i'm going to a concert and i have those bags that those crossbody clear bags but i was like this might be more efficient so that it's not like hugging my breast it'll just be attached to my waist in the front oh um, and it comes with a five dollar off gift card but but yeah so i just got this i don't know who knows i could definitely just put a sticker over that logo but yeah so that's what i got from ulta and i just needed to tell somebody I have beef with my FedEx carrier. My first encounter with her was when we, we hadn't even moved in yet, but we were over here painting before we moved in and cleaning up because we got the keys early. And I witnessed her throw my under desk treadmill off the truck. Like she just threw it off. We were standing here, right? Standing here in the living room. She could have looked in the window to see if anybody was here. And she just threw it off. We watched her put the box up to the end of the truck and then just push it off. And then she tried to drag it up the driveway. So I went outside. I was like, hey, do you need any help? And she looked dead at me and acted like she didn't hear me. So Alex's dad was here and he went and helped her carry it to the door. But I'm just like. And so I reported her because I had a lot of big furniture coming in. And I'm like, you're not going to have me constantly having to return stuff because it's damaged and since then i don't know if she just is upset with me now but every package feels like it's thrown extra hard and we order a lot of records too so but anyway she threw my package at the door and it was all this all these goodies but anyway yeah you know i've been recording for some time now um for a few days now i'm gonna i have so many videos i'm just so behind i'm just so tired so i'm gonna go ahead and end this here and you know hopefully it makes a good video if it doesn't i would have added something in somewhere but yeah it's what it's three o'clock three fifteen. i should get back to work it's been a very productive day at work for me and then I go on vacation a week after next. I have a two week vacation. So yeah, um, but thank you for watching. I'm so excited. We're finally moved and settled in. We're not even halfway done painting, but it feels good because now the main room, the living room is done painting, done being painted. So now really it's just decorating it. And I really want to go for a dark academia meets light academia look so that's why we did the walls that like cream color you see but I, but the fireplace is black and so i want to kind of play off that with the rug we choose because the rug we have is not it's too colorful for me it's stressing me out so i saw a great rug on ruggable it's like dark it's like a muted black tan cream and i kind of want that because i'm like i can see that i can see that with lots of gold accents on the wall and i can see it looking good with my christmas tree which is really the only thing that matters if you think about it what looks good at christmas so yeah i'm excited to get stuff going and i want to hit up some antique shops and we're just gonna go for it so i'm very excited um quick update on the dogs before i go CC had a pancreatitis flare up a few days ago. She seems good now. Roxy starts physical therapy this week. I'm very excited. Um, we've been wanting to do water therapy for years. I keep getting doctors who are like, I don't know what to do. Just, you know, put her in the sink and let her swim. She doesn't like that. I bought a life jacket, but I don't want to hurt her. Like I was going to hold a life jacket in the tub while she swam back and forth but 
I found a physical therapist. So we're going to start that on Thursday. I'm taking her in for consultation. And I told them, hey, you know, I don't want to. I don't. I don't. If possible, I don't want to bring her in. Like, I don't want to take that time out of my day to take her to physical therapy. I told my physical therapist this too. So I'm not just dismissing my dog's health. Like, I was like, hey, at some point. I need to just do this at home so set up a plan for me to do it at home because I broke my ankle last year um, but yeah so that's what we're doing we're gonna go in for a few sessions for water therapy there and then they're gonna teach me how to do it at home so I'm very excited about that and Max so we okay so my office this house is like I don't want to call it a dump it's not a dump it's just you can tell nobody has cared for it in quite a while so we had a lot to do when we came in here um and i'm thankful to work from home to be able to put in that effort and to have the dedication to do it but so there's a room right here that's my office it was attached way after the house was built it's a sunroom but it's my office and my office is max's bedroom pretty much it's always been that way he hangs out wherever my stuff is and so there are steep cracks like you can see like that lead to under the house um and so a bunch of ants were just coming up like the first three weeks we were here it was just giant like ants this big like you just see them and they were all coming out of that crack and i told the property management i was like hey can y'all seal these they said sure but just never came um and so yeah i sprayed poison in there to stop the ants from coming we didn't see as many ants coming up after i sprayed the poison but for like a few days there were you know occasional ants and i saw that max was getting into it like i let the poison dry for two days before i even let him into the room but he got into that spot i caught him and he was eating an ant and i don't know if maybe an ant bit under his i don't know if an ant bit him or if it was like a reaction to poison but he was doing for like for like a week and a half before I was like all right let me take you to the vet because I saw that him doing that could be anxiety and I was like oh we're in a new place I took him to the vet the vet's like oh his mouth is inflamed doesn't look like poison but it could be poison it also could just be like a giant insect bit him and I'm like the ants were big so who knows anyway Everything else about him seemed fine. Like he didn't have any like, there were no other changes. That's why I didn't worry about taking him to the vet. But now, since we've been to the vet, the vet gave him, Max wouldn't really let him look at his mouth. And Max's heart murmurs. So the vet was like, the only way for me to see what's really going on is to, for anesthesia. And he was like, that's a no, because of his heart murmurs. So he gave him a steroid shot, which I didn't really like but i'm like okay if his mouth is super inflamed let's do that like the doctor didn't even really tell me what he was giving him he just gave him a shot but anyway he gave him that and put him on some antibiotics i'm telling you since he got that shot he's been breathing faster so i monitored him monitored him for a whole weekend his breathing's just a bit accelerated like it's not like scary because this time last year his breathing was like he was just panting for like a week straight he had a he had some fluid buildup and that's when he started taking fluid medication um diuretic um and yeah that lasted for like two weeks i was very stressed so i was trying not to stress about it this year um because me stressing about him last year triggered some health issues for me because like i thought my dog was dying um and anyway so now the breathing has started again like that this year not as bad but it was it's just accelerated so I, we monitored him for a weekend took him to the vet the vet was like his heart's out the vet told me to increase his diuretic dosage while he's on the antibiotic um did that took him to the vet the vet was like hey his heart sounds better than i've heard in a long time so i guess the increased diuretic is great but his, his breathing rate is still up slightly um i don't really have like a i'll have to find a previous breathing rate to compare it to but i don't know i've just been monitoring him and so also 
I'm gonna start monitoring his heart rate also like every night and I don't know it just doesn't seem like it has returned back to where it should be so I am not giving him the antibiotic anymore because he seems fine he's not licking his lips and I know you don't come off an antibiotic as soon as you seem fine but he's been on the antibiotic for a week now the doctor gave was like a week and a half supply um I don't know I just don't know if it may be some type of reaction to the antibiotic the doctor did say that after a steroid shot you could have increased heart I mean increased breathing rate but that should only last a few days and it's been almost a week now so I'm gonna just not give him the antibiotic anymore and we're gonna just go from there he has his heart checkup every eight weeks and right now his next appointment is in four weeks so yeah I'm just monitoring him until then but it worries me because Max is 15 he has heart murmurs he has stage four out of six heart murmurs um you know it's stressful so yeah he's in here now his personality has not changed his behavior has not changed it's just the breathing is up and that stresses me a little bit it stresses me it stresses me a lot not a little bit but um yeah so that's the update on the dogs it's a lot having three old dogs it's a lot on you emotionally but yeah I just wanted to drop that there um yeah that's that i'm really excited to get the house going to get things decorated and just for it to feel like home and i know that might take a while like i just got my apartment to feeling like home really it only feels like home during the holidays and i, I really want to work on that like i want it to feel i want hookah vibes i want home cozy vibes all year round and i struggle with that especially in the summer because summers here are longer i live in the south summer is like may to beginning of October so it's the whole year pretty much so I want to well it's half the year it's not the whole year but I just want to make it feel I'm, I'm working on how to make summer feel cozy how can I make summer feel joyful because I hate summer so that's something that's really interesting that I'm going to be working on um in the next in coming weeks we still have spring to go through but spring is very short-lived here spring is like six weeks if that long before summer comes in so yeah i'm excited so um so much to do so much to think about but thank you so much for watching i'm so excited to get content edited like so much so much so much and like the channel is growing a lot like and that excites me too i'm like i'm finding my people and my people are finding me so thank you and hello um and yeah enjoy the rest of your day and i will talk to you later